here we are going to look at unnest using the array instruct so what we have here is we have to select query select star from unnest and then in parenthesis we are specifying this array so the array with struct uh, it has two values we have the integer x and the string y and uh, these are defined here in these angle brackets and on the right hand side we have a sort of a list of tuples where the first uh, in first parenthesis we have the value of x as 11 and then the value of y the string as dog and then we have 2 and cat when we run this uh, when we run this line of code we see in the output down below where we have x which has value of 11 and 2 and the column y which has value of a dog and cat so this way we can convert an array uh, into uh, uh, into row with uh, column headings that are specified here as x and y if we look at the second query let's uncomment that what we have here is we have select star struct underscore value and then uh, in down here we have a similar uh, line of code that we had above where we have from unnest array struct and then we have defined the integer 64 and the string y and then we are specifying the values as 11 and 2 and then 4 and bar and this particular uh, line we are specifying it as as struct so when we run this line of code again hit the run in the output we see that we now have the column x and y that are defined here for the integer and string and it has the respective values 11 and 2 at the same time because we have specified we have given this alias as as struct value we have two additional columns created with this uh, word as added as a prefix to the existing names of the variables for integer and string which is x and y so we have struct x and then we have struct dot y struct value dot x and struct value dot y and with they have the same values as uh, they did before for the columns x and y so that was it for this video uh, i hope you like this video and uh, hope to see you in the next video as well thank you